Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Power Master Double Dealer, and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. If you'd like to further help out your channel, please share with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, invite them to come over, check out the channel, and maybe subscribe as well. The best way to keep up with what's going on with this channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one or two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and now let's go check out this figure. And here we have Double Dealer in his vehicle mode, originally released in 1988. He is a triple changer, and he originally retailed for approximately $15. And Double Dealer didn't really have much of a story uh, in the U.S. other than he was a Decepticon double agent, so he would pretend to be an Autobot, but the, you know, deep down inside, he really was a Decepticon. Now, he had a lot more... Uh, depth and uh, a lot, I guess, more colorful uh, history in the Japanese continuity in Master Force. He was a very interesting character. He did, in fact, start out as a Destron agent or a Decepticon agent. So he would, in fact, pretend to be an Autobot or a Cybertron. And but in reality, he really was a Decepticon. He would always come back and report to them. And then as the t as the show went on his character was developed, he kind of started to see that the Decepticon ways were wrong and the Autobot ways were right. And eventually he turned and actually did become an Autobot. So he had a very, very cool little story in Master Force. He was called Clouder or Double Clouder, depending. So if he was in the Autobot mode, he was Clouder. If he was in his Decepticon mode, he was Double Clouder. So there you go. Very cool little story that he had in the uh, Japanese continuity. But uh, here he is in vehicle mode again. Uh, it's, it's, it's a missile truck, which I find very, very cool. And here in missile truck, he is approximately six and a half inches long by about four inches tall here at the top of the missile. Uh, he's got eight wheels, uh, which is really nice. Not a whole lot of robot stuff hanging out. And he rolls really, really nice. As you can see, very smooth, very quiet, very, very nice. He's got the missile there. You can actually kind of tilt this up so you can get ready to launch that. Looks very, very awesome. I absolutely love this vehicle mode. Now, he does come with a couple other accessories. He's got this piece here, which is going to become the chest plate for his robot mode. Uh, but you can actually mount it here in the vehicle. You can just kind of clip this to the back of the missile right there. So you can actually mount that there. And that works. And then, of course, he's got, he is a power master. A uh, very cool figure because he's a triple changer and he's a power master. He's, so I guess he's a double power master and a triple changer. Very, very cool figure. So, and uh, so here are his two um, Power Master buddies, Knock and Scar. And again, of course, if, if you're following the Japanese continuity, they were all just clouder. Uh, his suits changed. <laughs> so we'll take a look at that here in a moment. So uh, taking a look at the uh, Knock figure, we'll go ahead and transform him into robot mode. And uh, there you go. There's Knock in his little robot mode. And same articulation as most Power Masters. You can move the arms. I'm not going to because I don't want to risk breaking off the little tabs, but there you go. So there's Knock. And then here's Scar. Scar is very interesting. He's very different from uh, most other Power Masters that you've seen before. You're going to open these up, and he's going to turn into the little purple bat dude here. So this will be the figure that you use to unlock his Decepticon mode. Uh, there you go. Now, again, in the Japanese continuity... Uh, what he would do, um, D, or Clouder, or Double Clouder, would be that he, this is what he looked like when he was Clouder, and when he was Double Clouder, he still looked humanoid, it was just kind of like a bat-themed armor, rather than an actual bat itself, so that's kind of a very different thing, I don't know how they explain that in the toy versus the cartoon overseas, uh, but that's a difference there, so, and so, uh, to mount these guys on here, the chest plate here can be used as an engine holder, so we can take this guy and plug him in there. Actually, let's do this. I want to start with the other mode. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to plug it in here. So that's an engine holder for that engine. And then you can reach down here under the hood and you can plug in SCAR down here. And that is going to get us ready for the first transformation, which is going to be into Decepticon mode. So to transform into Decepticon mode, we're going to remove the missile from the holder here. And just kind of set this off to the side for now. There's a couple of things we're going to be able to do with that. So... 
plugging in Scar is going to unlock his Decepticon transformation, which is going to start right here at the sides. We're going to take these side pieces and we're going to bring these down. And then we're going to take these pieces down here and bring them out and bring a foot out. These are going to be the, his, uh, is he a hawk, I think? He looks like a buzzer to me. It's Whatever the box says he is, does, that's not what he looks like to me. He looks more like a buzzer. Uh, I think I think he's a falcon. I think he's supposed to be a falcon, if I remember correctly. But, man, he does not look like a falcon. Come up here, open these wings up, and then these slide open. And then we're going to reach in this panel here, open this panel up, get his head out, and turn it, angle it up. We can open the little mouth out and close that up. So there we have Double Dealer in his uh, Decepticon mode. And a couple of things that we can do here. So... There's there's all kinds of different things that you can do here. Usually, uh, the most common uh, transformation that you see here is to take this part of the missile and plug it into the bottom here, where it was plugged in for the vehicle mode, and then take the gun and plug that in there, take the engine holder and plug it in there. So this is probably the most common uh, configuration for him. Yeah, I guess that's a way to go. Now, again, I'm going to go with, because I've watched all of the Master Force, and that's usually kind of, uh, the more the, my knowledge of this figure comes from Master Force, and typically in Master Force, you saw the missile sticking out of his, uh, the whole missile sticking up over his head like that. So that's kind of the way that I like to do it. And again, you can take the engine holder and just kind of plug it in back there. And there you go. So that's kind of the way I'm going to show them off. But you can see there's a couple different things you can do. You can also, like, plug plug in here plug in here you can use this you can use the entire missile down here i mean it's your toy you can set it up any way you want so i'm just kind of going with the japanese animation from master force so there you go so there he is in his decepticon mode the wings can kind of flap as you saw and then this can move in and out so i guess you can do a little you know a couple poses with that the legs can move forward and backwards and the feet can also move forward and backwards so you can kind of you know angle these back like so so you can kind of give them a a flight, you know, pose-ish, sort of, eh, best approximation of. And then, of course, as you saw, the head can move up and down. It can also turn at the neck, and the mouth can open and close. And, uh, yeah, so, I, I don't know. It's supposed to be a falcon, I think, or a hawk or something like that. But to me, that really just does more, look more like a like a buzzer or some sort of a, I don't know. <laughs> so, so. That's, that's just what it looks like to me. But yeah, as you can see, he stands up quite nicely. And in this mode, Double Dealer is approximately 8 inches long. He's about 6.5 inches tall. He's got a massive wingspan of about 9.5 inches. Very, very cool figure here. Oh, you got the little Decepticon symbol right there at the top of the head. You saw a big Decepticon symbol right there on his back. Very, very cool. And then, of course, if you choose to do so, you can actually fire the missile. So <laughs> that's a thing you can do put that back there again a little bit of truck hanging off the back but i think it actually kind of hides uh, quite well i don't know if they could have come up with a way to have something flip out that would be sort of a tail uh back here i don't know but uh, i think it's pretty good um this is one figure where i really don't think that any of the modes suffer usually with triple changers there's going to be two, re pre usually two pretty good solid modes, and then one mode that's going to be kind of an in-between, or at least it suffers some. I think this figure is an exception, because I think all three of the modes for this figure work really, really well. So, all right, we're going to remove that, and we're going to get this guy back to his vehicle mode, or at least mostly back to vehicle mode. Put that there. Actually, yeah, we are going to get him all the way back to vehicle mode, aren't we? Flip, flip, down, down. We're back to vehicle mode. We're going to reach in here and pull out Scar or Double Clouder. Uh, set him off to the side, and now we're going to bring in Knock or Clouder. I'm going to pop this guy in, and that is going to unlock our Autobot transformation. So we're going to start right here with the front of the truck, flip this all the way forward, separate in half, and turn to form the legs. These side pieces here are going to come off to the side. These are on double hinges, so hinge out like that and hinge out like that. Bring his head up, bring his arms down. Now we're going to move the camera up. <laughs> Take the engine cover and clip it right there in the front. Take our missile, split this in half. The pointy end is going to uh, tab in right here at the top of his shoulder. You can put it on either shoulder. And then the other side of the missile is going to become our handgun. And then finally we're going to take Scar. And I like to come around the back and just plug him in back there. 
And yeah, he's kind of showing, but I guess I, mean, I guess he's just going to show his true colors back there. <laughs> but there you go. There is a double dealer in his Autobot robot mode. And I think this looks really, really nice. This robot mode is approximately eight inches tall. Again, G1 triple changer, not a whole lot of articulation. He moves his elbows. That's about it. Uh, the I guess the legs can go out. That, not that it does us any good. He can do a split and challenge uh, Van Damme. I don't know. <laughs> That's about it. But very, very cool robot. And again, not a whole lot of kibble. Not a whole lot of the other modes showing off. So again, very successful robot mode. I, all three modes, I, again, very, very successful in all three modes. I absolutely love this a lot. And this is the mode that I wanted to end with since in his continuity, this really kind of is the mode that he ended with was in his Autobot uh, robot mode. So very, very cool. Um, this one we did have as a kid. I didn't have it. My brother had it. So, But but I did get to play with him and fiddle with him a little bit. So, uh, of course, this is not the childhood figure that we had. Uh, I got this one recently when we were at Free Play Florida um, a couple months ago. That's where I picked this figure up. Uh, mostly complete. He was missing the chest piece. Uh, I had to do a little bit of hunting before I could get my hands on that one. But uh, eventually I got one. And I want to give a very big thanks to friend of the channel, the Outlaw Crow here on YouTube. He had a, a kind of a parts uh, double dealer figure that had that chest piece. And so he just sent me the whole figure and that allowed me to really just kind of take them apart and build one really, really nice figure. Got some uh, toy hacks labels and just kind of completely restored this figure uh, to what you see here in front of you. That would not have been possible without the Outlaw Crow. Again, thank you so, so much uh, for sending me your figure uh, so that uh, to help me complete mine. Really, really appreciate it. And I think that about covers Transformers Generation 1 double dealer let me know what you think of this figure give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time